All right, guys, still boy, big time for the So this story right now, one use HTML and CSS now to design this nice landing page where you see here. The one we finish now, we call use GSAP to run the animation. We're going to make this fresh, pass the way be like this. So, <laughs> in IDB now. So, more jump inside the code now, we'll see how to tie this something like this, sharp, sharp. So, if you see my um, text editor here now, VS Code, my HTML file, I never really do anything here now, just the link now to my HTML reset and all this font will be like, so we'll use joint to do this website now, or this landing page now in the year. Then I still get my style.css now. And if I open it, I see the team blank. and I write anything inside? Then I see they call this ion icons and this GSAP um, link for inside my code here because now we see the now we we'll run the animation you get. So I still leave the link to all these things so I write here now for the description of this video so that in a guard you locate you get. So if I open this place now, you see my assets now. I just get this left arrow, this mouse, and this um, um, wrapper PNG. You get. I already cut on Photoshop, so I go use and join for this um, design. And I already open the template here. So we go follow this one now. Now every two like CD and now we go do. So we just work according to what we we'll see here. You get. So the same thing I just landing page for web. You not get anything like a mobile view. So will not run responsive for inside this particular tutorial. So any asha, we will see how to code this stuff. So the first thing we will do here now, I'll come here and I'll just create a um, div. So this div now, I'll call them wrapper. So that just now, so you know, emit. If you know, no emit, I already create a um, tutorial. They made the write your HTML fast, fast. I already create, create tutorial on how to work with MS, so check out tutorial. I'll still leave the link to that tutorial for the description of this video. So, I'll create this wrapper, the inside the wrapper now, I'll go add this image. So the image now will be assets slash wrapper.png. This here, asset the wrapper.png. So I'll go add that like this. Then I'll come down, I'll create landing. So we'll enter the browser we'll see first. See so the same. I just get the wrapper here. Then the landing day somewhere here. You know that you know that I write my code now. As I do HTML now, I do the CSS join so that everything could go together. You get so then I want to do now so yeah. I want to centralize this image now. I'll centralize it to the middle of the browser. Then I go still create this background. Make it dark. That is this gradient now. So you see, I see it's in light somewhere here. Then all this other side now is dark. So I see creating like that. So what I'll do now, I go enter my CSS now. Then I go target the wrapper. So the wrapper will say, um, make the background color. Make the background color be ash. 63, 63, 63. So on a great color be that. So I set position to relative. I adjust my mic a bit. Okay. I'll set position to relative. Then I'll say me the width. Oh, I got the right trouble just now. <laughs> position relative. Ah, ah, we tell the type now. <laughs> Relative, okay. Then I'll say me the width be one hundred percent. Then the height, I could set the height to one thousand pixel. Then overflow hidden. So the reason why they put overflow hidden now, because more out of the circle they will cut. You get the cut for the height what would they give now? And the height what would they give now? One thousand pixel. This here. So when's that the browser? I'm gonna see first. So if I refresh now, so it happen. We'll get this gray background. So I'll go back to the code. Then we will target the image. We won't push and go the middle of the browser. So what I'll do here now. I'll just say position absolute. 
then um margin go be auto we we'll set the left to zero and the right will be zero then top minus 10 pixel why the height of the image will just give us 6 em so refresh okay it's really guys small here. <laughs> all right so at this 6 em will give them we should not like 65 refresh okay So this I think is screw. If you know what I mean, screw. If it's, if you make this one to be one hundred view heights, they get. If I refresh now, it's not saying that it's screw again. So depending on how uh, your design won't be, but my one I just want to be the one thousand pixel. So any we will move. So would I get this one now? The next one I go do now. We won't put this dark um, background. This thing. I want to put this dark background here. So what we we'll do? We go come here. We we'll target the landing. So say wrapper dot landing. So this landing now we'll say position relative. Then width will be one thousand. Sorry, 100%. Then we we'll set the height to be 1000 pixel. We we'll physically make it inherit the um, parent. Any I want to do, So overflow hidden. Then we we'll set display to flex. box shadow the box shadow could be insert zero zero three hundred pixel black then we'll give the background the background will be radial gradients so this is again we we'll just know just say circle then rgba I saw it's green, blue, alpha. So we'll just say 62, 62, 62, zero, and 0% black, 100%. So I'm going to go back to the good ones here. Sorry, the browser. So I'll refresh now. See the app on that well. You see, yeah. we don't get this our design. So more as this small circle, now that is this two circle over there, more as them. So that I will do, I'll come back to my HTML here, then just before the landing, I'll create div or column, Circle outer. So this circle outer now. Inside now we'll create another div now we'll call them circle inner. You see? Huh? So more target on. Huh? What do I do now? I'll come down just before this landing now. Huh? I will see the wrapper dot circle outer we'll set the height to um 1700 pixel then the width could still be the same thing so 
want to also run the pixel. Then border, we set border to two pixel solid white ash FFF. Position will be absolute. Y left will be fifty percent. We we'll set margin left. Margin left could be minus eight fifty pixel. What we we'll try to do here? We we'll try to shift this circle now. So this outer one now. Because when we create now, we will need to shift them enter the middle. Now just what I do. So when I finish now, I'll just explain this in sharp sharp one now. You get. Or in fact, my show now first. If I um call my browser here and refresh now, see the app now. Hmm? So I'll set position to absolute. Refresh again. You see, I'm sitting inside that be. So we need to push them now. Eh? Make calm the middle. You get. In fact, I'm gonna make um um the border radius first. See me border radius be fifty percent refresh you see him so i need to push him in the middle so that when the middle now you cut the way this one the cuts like this you get so that'll do or, or commence this tool now then i'll say um make the top be fifty percent. Why margin top will be minus eight fifty pixel. Then we we'll set display flex because that's circle inner now the display first now now we'll cover you stick um handle stuff but man of our the code first or margin right now so i just say justify content to center then align items to center so any side of this um outer circle now automatically now go centralize inside this parent this here so if I go back to my code now, I refresh. So it's what they get here. So the happen here, we say, if you want to centralize this your um, if you want to centralize any div now within your browser now, you get. I give the width and the height now the same. You see now. So what I got to do now, after a certain border radius to fifty percent, I make sure I say the margin left. That means the left now. So I give position absolute and I say me the left be fifty percent. In fact, make a comment this so that now gets you who is to where. I'll comment this one first. Monas here. So I set position absolute fifty um position to absolute then left now fifty percent. Um, comment this one. Remove this two. Then go back, refresh. So it happen. See and see. At the middle of the page, now this thing they like this now. So after I set this place to be fifty percent, it's supposed to come middle now. Be so to push and come middle. What we will do here? When the mention now say we we'll set margin left now to so half of this value, they get so half of seven hundred now. Now go be like uh, three fifty. You see, I'm three fifty. So if I go back now, then I refresh. See, I say they enter the middle. So the same way they happen here now, so here, now we'll call to for the up too. You get. So I'll come here now. I'll send me the top is 50%. If I go back, it sounds like push come down. So to push and come the middle way now, we'll come here now, we'll call given the same 350. That is half of the um, height there. So I'll put 350 here now. And refresh now. It sounds like that's centralized. You see the scope now. So if I come in and set border radius to 50% and I refresh, see so what they happen. 
I don't get the perfect second for the middle of the browser. You see, yeah? for the middle of the browser or um, middle of the um, landing div now get sort of. So um, what do we we'll do? This one's supposed to be bigger now. So I'll come here, I'll just change to 1,700. Then instead of three, I'll we'll pull it. We'll get our original design back. So now we'll refresh now. see and say, you know, they resemble this one small, small. So what we'll do now, we'll try to get this second for the middle here. So I'll call my code here. Um, I'll just copy this one. Circle out and out, uh, in and out one zone now. So I'll target this in now. I'll send me the height be 800 pixel. Then the width will still be the same thing now, 800 pixel. Then we'll send me the border be one pixel solid um, RGBA because one fence that in small. If we say white now, go to Go to sharp, not me sharp like that. Mark up this border radius. Go go need them. So if you put fifty percent or if you just put inherit, it will still work like this. So if I refresh now, you see I'm now. So I want to finish this in small. I want to finish this white. So either I just instead of this normal white, now I just say RGBA, then. Just copy, select, select, select this one too. So, um, two five five, then zero point five. You see them. So if we refresh now, you see instead of thin small. So you see what it's in being now. So Abby, so we don't get this nice designer for the outer and the inner. So any Asha, um, now you're going to end this video because I'm not made it in a long like that. So we'll go end this video here. The next um, video, we'll go see how to add this um, side navigation for this place, then this top header for this place. You get. So any Asha, see be a lawyer boy from Double a Big Tank. Now been a like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not lost, and I'll see you for the next video. Thank you.